All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. I've noticed I sometimes say guys like guys. All right, guys. All right, guys, how you doing? Um, so, yeah, today we're going over to Pomona Island. I think I've said Panoma Island in every review I've done so far, but um, it doesn't matter. So today we're looking at the an overwhelming surplus of diggity triple ipa with artwork once again from myco design i just love pomona's branding i love that logo need to get myself a sweatshirt so our rides aren't fat we mainly cycle there's no ice on our pinkies they naked we don't fly for this oh, saying that so fluently then We don't fly first class, we're concerned about our carbon footprint, and we have an overwhelming surplus of diggity. So I'm not going to say this is a perfect 10, but it's got a huge juicy hop bill of Cryo Citra, Mosaic and Sabra. So you tell me if you like it, no doubt. 10.5% ABV, canned on the 5th of May 2020. It's, uh, well, it's just over a month old because it's the 8th of June as I'm uh, reviewing this. That name uh, comes from, um, I believe it was a question on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Can't remember what the, the question was about, but what rap song it was about. I don't know, so I'm not going to pretend that I do know. But, um, yeah, you, you could look it up. There we go. Lovely stuff indeed. So I've been excited for this one. But I thought I'd keep it a little while before I open it, just in case it was a bit a bit too green. But, um, you know, triple IPA on a Monday evening. Who cares? Let's see what we get with this one then. Let's give it a swirl. There we go beer in the glass then and uh, that's looking nice and hazy it's it looks chunky it looks thick spelt with two c's of course much like me but um yeah that just looks nice and it's got a real dankness to it in terms of appearance just a really nice depth and just a beautiful color sort of like a cloudy sort of like the skin of an orange but yeah, looking very nice indeed. We've just shy of a finger's worth of creamy lining on top, slightly off white. So uh, yeah, looks fantastic. So let's see what we get on the nose. You don't get too much actually. There we go. Well, first of all, it does not smell like a ten point five percent ABV beer. It's got. It's got that slight oniony, garlicky, dank tone. There's definitely sort of like a soft, citrusy character, just like a general sort of citrus note. It's got a tropical element to it, thanks to that mosaic and sabro. I'm not getting too much coconut on the nose, because I do tend to get coconut from sabro. Which is weird because a lot of people, well not a lot of people, see quite a few people don't seem to get that sort of character. But yeah, that smells really interesting actually. It's not as potent as you would expect a triple IPA to smell actually. So it's it's really like soft, inviting, sort of like me. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers folks. She knows. I'm just going to come out and say it, it feels a tad undercarbed. Because the can was a little bit more squishy than I was expecting. 
It's not flat though. It's just a very, very gentle carbonation. It's got some slight savoury characters going on there. Yeah, a little bit of like flaked coconut, I would say. A little bit of a soft, sweet, citrusy tone. It's a quite a nice minerality uh, towards the back end. Where it almost has that character of like um, um, a salt seltzer. When you put when you put those tablets in water and all fizzes up. Alka seltzer is that what it is? But yeah, it's it's not as hoppy as I was expecting. Soft mouthfeel though. Velvety. It's got a creaminess to it. See, have I left this too long? Been a month? You wouldn't think so. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking like I've got a comb over right now, but who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. I've got I've got no one to impress. Do you know what I mean? That'll do. Just look look at that. What the fuck is going on right now? What if we brush it over this way? <laughs> Don't worry, it, we're, we'll stop this nonsense and we'll get back onto the bit. And we'll get back onto the beer. I was just expecting a little bit more flavour, to be honest. It's got a real density to it, though. It's sort of, sort of like flamboyant as some triple IP, triple IPAs have been recently. There's there's no way that this is drinking like a ten point five percent beer though. There might be the just the slightest teeny weeny tiny inkling of um like warmth as it goes down. But yeah it it, it it's got that sort of like um fragrant coconutty character almost like you're drinking like um coconut milk or like coconut water the you know the stuff you get in uh, the cartons as opposed to like getting literal coconut milk just the right amount of sweetness just the right amount of dank savory tones i mean <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit conflicted with this one. It's by far the most exciting AAA, triple, triple A, triple A, triple A, triple IPA that I've had. But I'll tell you what, that coconut is building up. And it's giving it sort of like an intriguing character. I don't know why. It's almost got like sort of like um that that mountain IPA thing, which is a new fad. Of course, where you get the sort of like dank savouriness from like a west coast, but you get a slight vibrancy and fruity sweetness from like an, an east coast IPA. Even like getting like a subtle like white chocolate character. It's really quite intriguing actually. It's definitely an intriguing triple IPA. But I don't know. I, I kind of was expecting a little bit more potency. And a little bit more of like a strong. Uh, not abrasive but flavoursome. Or bountiful. Uh, going with that Sabro theme. 
And this is actually, I think, the last one that I've got from Pomona. And I was hoping to save the best till last, but it's not wowing me as much as I thought it would do. And that's probably down to me overhyping it because I'm I'm in a proper triple IPA mood recently. Um I've got two got a couple from um Monkish, two triple IPAs from Monkish, uh that I'm gonna be looking forward to at some point. And that book's gone to screensaver. Currently watching um <sighs> My MacBook's slow so oh my god. I can't speak. Fucking hell. Um I'm watching um Anything Goes with James English and he's talking to um a police whistleblower blower. Bar oh, fuck off, Peter. I just can't speak. I don't know what it is, I just cannot formulate a proper sentence right now. This isn't even a beer review anymore, is it? It's just a fucking mess. An absolute sodding mess. Sort of like me as a person. Um, there you go, Adam. That's my uh, one detrimental comment per video. Not, I'm not ripping off Watch Mojo. Not what what culture. My God, what is going on? I think I'm enjoying it more as I'm drinking it, but it's just not like blowing me away. Is it a bad beer? Fuck no. Um, no need to swear. Is it a bad beer? Heck no. Um, nice and sticky on the lips, though. Uh, who was a winking at? What was a winking at then? Oh my god. Why do people watch these horrendous videos that I upload? Why'd you do it to yourselves? I'd like to know. I'd like to get the psychology, psychological aspects of uh, my viewership. But um, anyway, straying completely um, off topic, as is always the case. Uh, what would I give the overwhelming surplus of diggity? Um, I wouldn't say it's got an overwhelming uh, surplus of diggity. Uh, it's got a little bit of dig dig dig. Sometimes I often ask myself, why do I do this? But now, seriously, um, back onto the beer. I like it, but it doesn't like... I wouldn't say it's like the best example of a triple IPA. Uh, but then again, you you fitting into you pigeonholing it into like standards that you set out for yourself when you're reviewing beers. So some people will be drinking this; it's like the best beer that they've had all year. Some people will drink this, and it's like oh, for triple IPA and a forge forty mil can. You know, fucking people whining about oh, triple IPA shouldn't be in forge forty mil cans. You fucking stupid, bro. Um, not picking out any of my uh, good friends who have those those opinions, of course. But yeah, give, give me triple IPAs and 500 mil cans. Give me a mini keg of a triple IPA. I don't care. I love triple IPAs, especially when they lean more towards the sort of East Coast style, which this does. But it has some of those like um, some of those West Coast sensibilities. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like a toned down mountain triple IPA, if you will. Anyway, so what would I give? The overwhelming surplus of diggity. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Still damn good. I'd still drink it again. I'd definitely pick up more of this. But um, tell you what though. That Sabro is just screaming in this IPA. That's what I would say. If you like your Sabro and you get that sort of like coconutty tropical character. You're getting this. That, that to me, is the strongest flavour now as I'm drinking it. Even the aftertaste is really quite coconutty. It's amazing how a like a, a, a herbal thing, like a hop, a flower, a, 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 you know, vegetables, greenery, how they can impart these sorts of flavours. I mean, citrus, yeah, you kind of get that. Like herbal, you kind of get that. Minty, 
you know, Basil, all those sort of wonderful things, earthiness, you get that. But when you get, like, genuine coconut flavour, and not just something that slightly resembles coconut, I'm talking about something that tastes like coconut. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It always amazes me how you can get these flavours from hops, and then you can pair that with a specific type of yeast, and that'll bring out characters in the hop that you didn't really expect, and then... Yeah. Body wise, it's bang on. I will not fault the body on this beer. But it does does just feel slightly undercarbed. I don't know. I'm sure I said that about another beer from these guys. But it doesn't really take anything away from the beer, it just makes it that little bit more luxurious. And I've realised I'm I'm a slob and I'm like resting on my pillow. Who am I fucking rampant lion? So yeah, 8 out of 10. I think that's lovely. If you like Sabro Hop, that's definitely the star of the show with this. I know it's like the, the in hop at the moment. Do you know what I mean? It's like the blossoms of the hop world. <laughs> or <laughs> blossoms of the hop world. What the fuck? Um... I don't mind the Blossoms. I think I think they're an alright band. It's just my young brother just fucking plays them all the time. Anyway. Pomona Island. An overwhelming surplus of dignity. If you can get, ha get hold of it, definitely try it. Um, it is a lovely IPA, but it's... It's not the best triple IPA that I've had recently. But I still really like it because it's a triple IPA. So yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. I'm going to put all of their social media links down below. So all of their website and more importantly, they do national delivery. So their web shop will be included. Pointed exactly towards my crotch in that. But uh, hey ho. Anyway, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions and... Uh, yeah, sure, I should have ended this review like 10 minutes ago, but oh well, I didn't, and you sat here and we're nearly at 20 minutes. Anyway, I've really enjoyed the Pomona stuff, and I'll, def I'll definitely be buying from Pomona again. No need for Jimmy Savile. You guys take care and uh, kill me. Just fucking kill me.